CES is going to have its first science fair. You're allowed to be excited. Yay! Yay! Okay, so you're probably going, yay! What's a science fair? A science fair is a competition where you get to bring a project that shows an experiment you did. So at the science fair, people will bring a project that shows what they've been doing at home, and it's a science project. This is something you can do if you want to. You don't have to. It's not for marks. It's not for money. It's just for fun. It's for science. Okay? So if you're interested in, it's only for grades 5 to 8. And each grade can compete for first and second place at the science fair. So you could be the first person in grade 5 to ever win a science fair award. What is it going to look like? Well, we're going to be in the gym. People will set up tables all around the gym, just like this, and put their poster or their project on top of it. You'll be standing in front of it. Judges will come and see your project. Students will come. Parents will come. And you get to show everyone the experiment you made. Well, you have a poster board. It's like a poster, except that it stands up so that it won't fall over. You have a problem. What's your question? What are you trying to answer? Your hypothesis. What do you think will happen? Your experiment. How do you test it out? Data. These are the numbers that you get back from the experiment you did at home. Results. What happened? Conclusions. What does that tell us? Did you answer the first question? And then next time. Now you see all these other things in front. These are extra things you can use to make your project a little bit better. You want to impress the judges. You want to teach the students. You want to show the parents. So you could have something like this. It's a plant. If your project is about plants, bring a plant. If your project is about horses, please don't bring a horse. Bring small things that you can take care of. You can use photographs. They're a great way to show what you did, especially if your experiment was sticky. We don't want sticky stuff all over the gym. Bring a picture. You could make a model. You can't buy a model, though. You're not allowed to just buy a fancy thing and use it for your project. You have to make it. And you could do a mini experiment. Here's my mini experiment. What do you think will happen? It will, maybe it will explode? Hopefully not, but let's see. So I could have my poster board behind me and I would do a little experiment. That's going to make a mess. <laughs> that's, that's an elephant toothpaste. <laughs> If you're a little nervous about the science fair, or you want help to make sure that it's extra good, AIS has a special program called the Mentorship Program. It's free. We have teachers and volunteers who have said they will help you make your project. They will, they will prepare you for the science fair. They'll help you make your project, and they'll help you get ready for the judges. They won't give you the answers or tell you how to do something but they will help you do it. You come up with a science fair project and they will make sure it happens. This is an after school activity. So if you want to register for the science fair, you register for that. You can also sign up for the mentorship program. Okay, let's come up with a couple of ideas. I have one idea that I think would be a fun project. Do you know what a pop rocket is? Yes. Yeah, you know when you take pop and you put Mentos in it? Yes. And then a rocket and it shoots off? Okay, well here's an experiment. What combination of different pops and candy produces the most carbon dioxide? Or, how do I make the best rocket? 
So you can test it. Let's say Mentos and Coke, Mentos and Pepsi, Mentos and 7-Up, M&M's and Pepsi. And then at your house, you will test each of these different things. And you measure how high the rocket went. Now you have numbers. And you can make a graph. You can show how high each one went. Then you could answer the question, which one made the most carbon dioxide? There you go, you have a science fair project. You can work alone or with a partner. So groups of one or two. If you work alone, then you can do it on your own or with your family or with a mentor. If you are in a group of two, you both have to go alone or you both work with a mentor. Make sure you do work with an adult to help you get this done. Good? Yes.